For those who know me, it's no secret that I don't hide my love for the autumn period with all kinds of colors of nature. Autumn is my favorite time of the year. This is also one of the main reasons I wanted to do a road trip through Norway, which to me is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Originally, the plan was to visit Tromsø in March this year as a birthday present to myself. But as you all know, due to the COVID situation, that was not possible. So I started to think about doing the road trip then in October. And so recently, I went on a wonderful journey, which led me all the way up to the Atlantic Highway. And I saw truly so much along the way that I want to share with you in this video. Well, I've made it to Denmark and uh, as soon as I got off the boat, it was uh, immediately sunny weather, blue skies. It's unbelievable. It was a little bit disappointing. It's a, it's a bit of an expensive ferry uh, from uh, Germany to uh, Denmark, about uh, 100 euros. It's, uh, well, it's pretty steep, but I, well, <laughs> I don't mind you don't hear me complain because uh, yeah, <laughs> I will be taking uh, lots of ferries and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting. Uh, I've uh, never been to Denmark. It's the first time. It's uh, yeah, of course very similar to Holland. And uh, yeah, it's, I love this time of year, it's autumn. And uh, I, you can see the, the, the autumn colors in the trees and the leaves. And uh, yeah, like I said, the weather just cleared up. And uh, so uh, yeah, uh, it started out really difficult. Uh, yeah, it was uh, a lot of traffic in Germany, especially around Hamburg. And uh, also the weather was not very good. But uh, yeah, like I said, uh, at the end of the day, it's uh, now around uh, uh, 4.30 in the afternoon. So uh, if all goes well, I should be uh, around uh, 6 uh, p.m. in Copenhagen at the hotel. And then, uh, yeah, it's uh, the longest leg of the journey. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's well spent day. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I have to soak it in, I have to uh, absorb it a little bit because I have been uh, uh, wanting to do this for a very long time and uh, also uh, I have some medical, uh, yeah, I have, I have certain disabilities and uh, yeah, it's a long story, not worth mentioning but uh, yeah, like I said, it is uh, very, very, uh, I, I have a lot to soak in to, uh, to comprehend so thank you very much and like I said, come join me on the tour, it's the first day. And uh, yeah, uh, hope you are doing well, stay safe, and talk to you later. I've never been to Copenhagen before, but unfortunately I did not have time anymore to drive around the city, because I had to check in the hotel where I spent the night. And so the next day I drove over the magnificent Sonbrug to make my way through Sweden on my way to Oslo. After again a long day of driving, I have finally arrived in Oslo, where I stayed two days exploring the city, making a wonderful fjord cruise to see Oslo and the surrounding Oslo fjords of the war. The Times Square reconstruction in New York, the National September 11 Memorial Museum and Pavilion at the World Trade Center site in New York, and the Calgary Central Library in Alberta, Canada. I think Oslo is a very beautiful city with some great landmarks, but especially the harbor where many cruise ships come during the year so people can come and enjoy the friendly hospitality of the Norwegian people. So today was a very emotional day, very beautiful day. It's around uh, six, uh, it's just after 6 p.m. You can see by the famous bell tower here in Oslo, uh, forgot to bring my usual vlogging equipment uh, because uh, yeah, I have uh, my sketching gear and uh, the 
360 camera here. Uh, did an amazing tour around the Oslo Fjord with uh, the company Oslo Fjord Cruises on a uh, really beautiful yacht. And not these uh, kind of uh, cruise ships that you see over there. The Ocean Princess, as I can see. Or the ferry boats, those hyper modern stuff, that's not for me. I just uh, enjoyed myself immensely. And uh, I, uh, it was a little bit difficult to get on board with my walker, but uh, yeah, uh, I made it. And uh, boy, oh boy, did I have some footage uh, to shoot and also uh, try to sketch. But yeah, that's, that's difficult on a sailing boat because it's uh, rocky, uh, rocking, I should say, uh, especially with me on board. <laughs> and that's why they set me in the middle. <laughs> no, no, just I uh, spent uh, the good day on the dock waiting make a few sketches also of the, the Stochtings cabinet as I say it, the House of Parliament and, uh, yeah, and also the, the City Hall. So uh, once again, very, very emotional day and a real treat because of the weather. Uh, yeah. And now on to Gutfangen, which is uh, Norwegian for the place of the gods. And uh, yeah, uh, from there I will go to the Flamsbana train ride. And so the next day, I left Oslo to make my way to Gudvangen, which means place of the gods. But before I arrived in Gudvangen, I drove along one of the most scenic routes in Norway, called Auerlandsfjellet. The scenic route gave me so many impressions along the way, especially the desolate landscape and the road. Coming from a densely populated country like the Netherlands, this route was a powerful experience. Well, I've made it to, uh, if I say it correctly, Fota no Hagen. It's a, a viewpoint here on the Auerlands uh, uh, scenic route. And uh, yeah, it's too bad uh, about the weather, but yeah, if you, if you look around, if you look around at this, it is so beautiful at this. It's uh, also, I have to, will. So you can see there's also snow, window again because it's the rain on my video equipment here. So back here. Uh, yeah, it was uh, challenging, uh, but of course uh, if, if you want to see the view from above then you have to get above. But uh, my car did uh, very good and uh, really proud of him. It's, uh, it's an old beast. but. Uh, and that's uh, taken me uh, almost everywhere uh, through Europe. And now I'm here in, uh, yeah, in such a beautiful place. It's, uh, it's unreal, it's unreal. So after I enjoyed the view from the Flotana viewpoint, where through the rain, I still was able to see the mountains and the glaciers in the distance. I drove along the way towards Gutfangen, where I arrived in what would be the weather for the next few days. Pouring rain. 